<clears throat> when your Kundalini raises with tremendous force, one may not levitate, but you can see one's body just taking off. Baby, you can call me a Superman. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I want to thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and thank you for getting us to 15,000 subscribers, we are in the road to uh, 16,000 subscribers, you guys are super amazing, thank you and thank you so much. So today we're going to do so today I'm going to do a reaction and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that I should go react to is it possible to levitate you know what levitation is yeah um, like moving up above the ground like moving up moving your body above the ground get it without any assistance or whatnot is it possible so uh, this is by Sanguru and yeah so let's find out if it's possible or not. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Levitation. See, now I'm levitating. <laughs> How could it happen? Is it what you're asking or is it possible? Is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> is it possible? It is possible. How does it happen? There are there are many ways, or there are certain ways through which you can become less and less available to gravity. There are certain practices, certain kriyas through which you become less available to gravity. Because of this, one may levitate, it's possible. Or <coughs> when your Kundalini raises with tremendous force. One may not levitate, but you can see one's body just taking off by itself and landing. It doesn't stay there, but it takes off and lands, takes off and lands. If you make a little effort, without any effort it's happening, but if you make a little effort, with little effort, when the energy is high, it happens. You must have heard of you heard of Maya Ma? The lady saint in Tamil Nadu, Maya Ma, you heard of her? Nobody knew where she came from, but it looked like her features said that she must have been a Nepali. But uh, she never spoke. She was in Kanyakumari, very tip of southern India. Her friends were always dogs. She had a whole band of dogs behind her. She was uh, so involved with these dogs that she would steal food from hotels. You know, in the small hotels they kept all these vada and other things. <laughs> she would just go grab it and put it for her dogs. So many times people even physically handled her. People would beat her, throw stones at her because she grabs food from everybody and gives it to the dogs. She never spoke. Then people found, certain times when people went and watched her, she would be just floating on the waves of the ocean. She would just sit like this and simply float. So because of that, people stopped bothering her, you know, they would protect their food of course, but they wouldn't abuse her physically in any way because they saw her floating on the ocean. There are many ways you can make yourself less available to gravity. Can I do it? I want to walk on the planet. <laughs> I have no intention of floating. 
certain people who follow the path of Hatha Yoga usually do these feats. It is of no life significance. Now, if you float or if you levitate for a few minutes in a day, in what way does it alter your life? Our whole effort here is that you can walk through life very much on the ground, but you can walk through life no matter what happens with your life, no matter what kind of situations you face. You go through life untouched, still like a child as you were born. How many things happen in your life? It doesn't matter. How many things go wrong? Everything goes dead wrong. Every day is a crisis, but still you go untouched through life. This is a miracle. I want all of you to perform this miracle. On your deathbed, if you are like just born, that means you have performed a wonderful miracle of going through life untouched. That's possible. So, we are interested in performing that miracle. Floating in the air, walking up on the water, what will you do with it? Three days if you walk upon the water, it'll be fine when you get all the attention. Every day if you start walking upon the water, nobody will look at you. They'll all take their speed boats and psh, they'll go. Then you will also wish you had a boat, <laughs> isn't it? Wow! <laughs> um, such a powerful message from Sanguru and also um, him trying to explain if it is possible for one to levitate. I mean, he is just explained it in a, in, a, in a good way, just like how he does it. He's really good at what he's, he's doing, you get it? And one thing I got from this is that it is of no use. So what if you levitate, you get it? Uh, you know. Does it add any value in your life? You get it. You understand? Um, of course, um, I feel it's possible to levitate. I feel it's possible if the stories of the Bible tells us that Jesus walked on water, uh, Moses put the seas into the middle and stuff like that, and they walked uh, into the water and stuff like that. I mean, it's possible to live with touch, you get it, it's, 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 it's really, really possible. Uh, but he talked about the Kundalini, when your Kundalini is at, you know, at the highest peak, you find yourself floating and, you know, uh, it's like a flicker flow type of thing, which is also incredible, you understand? Um, today, people will want to call it magic, but probably during the ancient times, um, it wasn't magic, but it was a way of maybe spirituality, maybe being a lighter being and stuff like that. That's how I want to put it. Yes, yeah, so um, Sanguru over here actually answered in a good way. But the most important thing is, does it really add value in your, in your life? Does it help you progress in your life? Okay, fine, you're levitating, then what? That's why he ended up saying that uh, if you... If, if you live it every day, people are going to look at it like ah, it's, it's, it's a normal type of thing. If you walk on water, people are going to use the uh, jet ski or whatever thing and you will want to be part of them and stuff like that. So I think it's, um, it's something that you have to sit down and think about it. You want to spend your time levitating or you want to spend your time um, making your life better. I don't know, probably when you levitate, it probably gives you a different angle of how you see things and whatnot. You get it? Maybe there is value towards levitation. I don't want to um, just ignore the fact that it doesn't give value or something like that. Probably there's some, 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 some major things when it comes to levitation. Like I remember in my dreams when I was, well, because for me, I remember in my dreams, I do meditate a lot of times. I meditate in the morning and also in the evening. I meditate, I meditate two times a day. So um, uh, 
this is just to, to tell it guys so on 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 my sleep i saw a reflection of me levitating and um i was when i woke up in the morning i was like wow so this can be real you get it and i was like it's possible it's possible the things that the stories that we hear back in those days you can actually add one and two together and you can find them to be even more realistic and whatnot anyway uh, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in the comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction What do you feel about Sanguru on this one right here? Is it possible to lay me that? Also, let me know about you your um, Your thoughts. Do you think people levitate or you think it's just a fictional type of things? Did you think Jesus walked in water? Did you, did you, um, do you agree that Moses divided water into half? Just let me know in the comment section below and we, we can talk about it and whatnot. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, I'm going to see you rather. We're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.